Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, wireless networking security. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the router setup, uh, some of the minimum uh, configuration settings that you need to assure that you have uh, some security. Uh, you need to understand that uh, wireless uh, security uh, routers can be overridden, can be hacked, uh, and they do create a vulnerability to your network. There is no completely secure setup. Uh, this is a picture of a Linksys router. Uh, these do have some good uh, configuration settings that can help strengthen your wireless security. A little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Greg French. I've got about 25 years uh, experience in the field uh, working with network technology. 10 years teaching. Uh, certified A+, Network+, uh, CCNA. Also certified as a Cisco instructor. I've taught college level uh, network security classes. I was also a college department chair for network technology where we developed uh, these curriculums and these classes. I have an AA, BA, and MA degree in, in educational technology. So I've got some credentials. I've taught this. I'm uh, pretty experienced in this area. Uh, so hopefully the information that I'll provide will be helpful. Uh, this again is a vulnerable area. Uh, there is no completely secure uh, setup over a wireless network. You do have some vulnerabilities and there's no way to get around that. But I'll be showing you some things that you can do to strengthen uh, your particular wireless, wireless network. So here we go. Uh, learning objectives. You're going to learn how to set up your wireless router. And again, we're going to be talking about some of the minimum configurations and some additional configurations that we can do to strengthen uh, this security. Uh, wireless router setup. Uh, first, change the default. We're going to, we got to get rid of this admin account, uh, the default account and the default password. Uh, I would recommend some unique name uh, for your admin account and also a strong password so it can't be easily guessed. Those are the first ways that people come into routers. Uh, third, you need to use the uh, WAP, the, the Wi-Fi Protected Access Encryption, a fairly newer encryption, uh, much stronger than WEEP, which can be easily cracked now with uh, freely available tools and software that can be found on the Internet. Uh, fourth, we need to turn off that uh, broadcast SID. Uh, we need to disable that. Otherwise, your router is broadcasting to the world around uh, that, hey, I'm here, I'm available, uh, connect to me. So we need to turn that off so that the casual uh, observer would not see your uh, router. Uh, the next configuration settings are highly recommended uh, to help strengthen your wireless security. A little harder to configure, so we'll have some additional uh, videos in order to show you how to do that. Also, you might check out this website, Wireless Networking Security, that I've set up. It has some more details on how to set these uh, configurations up. MAC filtering uh, is one of them, and static IP addressing is another one. We need to turn off the DHCP and set static addresses uh, individually or manually uh, to every computer, every node connected to our network. Also, the MAC filtering, the MAC is a physical address, 48 bits. Uh, every device connected to your network has a MAC address. So we can, we can identify what those are and input them into our network uh, so that uh, the routers uh, will only allow those particular MAC addresses to connect. In review, uh, the admin name and password has to be changed. We also need to turn off that SID uh, so that it's not broadcast into the world around. You should try to enable uh, this WAP encryption. If you're unable to do that and you have to use the WEP, I would strongly recommend that you use MAC filtering and static IP addressing. And again, I've got some more details on how to set that up at this wirelessnetworkingsecurity.com website. Also, I'll be uh, creating some additional uh, videos to show you how to set up that MAC filtering and the static IP addressing. Thank you very much for your time. I uh, hope this helps. And again, you might check out this website to get further details. Thanks again. Bye.